I think a building has to create emotions. It should speak to people. It should make people think. It should give them fantasy. It should give them ideas for how they could live, how we work, how we relate to each other, identity of a place, a memory of a place. CCTV is one of the largest buildings ever built in the world. It's also one of the most complex buildings. The typical skyscraper is vertical. And we were interested in the question, how could we make a skyscraper that was all about connectivity, all about people working together and a system of collaboration rather than of vertical isolation. So we took the vertical needle of the skyscraper and bent it back into itself to create a big loop. And it was a building that was really imagining the future, a moment that represented and came to represent this historic situation. The Guardian Art Center is in a very, very different context. It's in the very center of Beijing, and it's uh, in a location that is actually full of historic meaning. And I was interested in how we could develop an architecture that would really investigate and define a new relationship to Chinese identity and to Chinese history. Asia is a fearless context. There's an interest in the future. There's a question of how can we tackle the challenges of the future in new ways. Of course, this is a context that also develops. It's not a static context. There are moments where moves are more radical. There are moments where time is more thoughtful. That's a very inspiring context for an architect to be able to participate in and to develop prototypes for the future of how we live or how we work.